Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning and welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center, Samasbi. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions, and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 12th November, Saint Josephat, Bishop and Martyr. Today's saint is a martyr and patron for re reunion of the Greek and Latin churches. Born in the Ukraine as an Orthodox, he became a Catholic and then a monk and priest of the Order of Saint Basil. He became Archimandrite and later Archbishop of Paulus. A zealous bishop and worker for Christian unity, Josephat was assassinated by enemies in 1623. He was canonized in 1867. The Entrance Antiphon Because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Dear loving children of God, today's Holy Mass, let's remember people who are facing challenges connected with their migration at this time of pandemic. So many people are asking and requested their prayers for their visa problems, their permanent residencies and their citizenship for applying in various places, for settling down in life. Remember all such people with a sincere heart. Let's pray for them and support them. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord. The spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not to be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Be seated for readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, implore you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Bear with one another charitably 
and complete selflessness and gentleness and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the spirit by the peace that, that binds you together. There is one body, one spirit, just as you were all called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God who is Father of all, over all, through all, and within all. Each one of us, however, has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. And to some his gift was that they should be apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. The word of the Lord. Our response shall be, Happy are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Our response, happy are they who delight in the law of the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters. The yield that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Our response, happy are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they like winnowed shaft, they be shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. A response, happy are they who delight in the law of the Lord. We shall stand for this gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. All who live in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us, as you are in me and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I've given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them and you in me. May they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And this I have known that you have sent me and made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you loved me may be in them 
and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, good to share this passage, especially Gospel of John chapter 17, that that is known as a chapter where Jesus intercedes for his children. Maybe a two parts, if I just brief today's gospel in a one aspect, that is the prayer of Jesus, the method that Jesus used in his prayer. And it is also good to uh, cultivate that kind of method of Jesus' prayer in our life, a method of Jesus' prayer in our personal life. There are two uh, parts of the method of Jesus' prayer. The first one, Jesus acknowledging the love of God and Jesus cherishing that love of God in his life. That's first part of his prayer. That, Father, we are one and you loved me from the beginning of the world, beginning of the foundation of the world. So Jesus was trying to cherish the love of God. And the second part, interceding for all the people that God entrusted to Jesus on earth. Dear loving children of God, I found this is good for us personally when we live in the world, just like 2020 years, Jesus lived in the world and Jesus had this method of prayer. First part, cherishing and accepting and acknowledging that love of God in personal life. And then second part, interceding for the intentions of the people around and one's own intentions. This will be good for us to continue, if you wish, this prayer method, acknowledging the love of God in the beginning, then interceding for one another. And whenever you have some time today, if you wish, please go through the first reading Letter to Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 1 to 15. A beautiful reading with rich uh, spiritual insights that will really feed you today. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, walk of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept by you all my sacrifices. Wash me, cleanse me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessings upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for the blood of your blessed martyr saint joseph poured out like christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through christ our lord and so with all powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of us heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Anthony a bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Have mercy on every single one struggling to migrate into different countries at this time of pandemic. We pray with the blessed virgin Mary mother of God, blessed Joseph her devoted spouse, blessed apostles, all the saints, Saint Joseph, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him a god almighty father the unity of the holy spirit 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I recite this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart, and I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and defend. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord.
Dear loving children of God, as we are beginning our residential retreat of inner healing tomorrow onwards, there won't be uh, evening uh, adoration and benediction at 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday. We do have and we do continue our morning uh, Holy Mass at 8 a.m., but there won't be uh, live streaming at 9 p.m. on Friday, that is tomorrow and Saturday, but we'll continue on Sunday onwards, Sunday night after the retreat. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we might willingly spend our lives walking for the honor and unity of the church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, be humbly pray. And do thou, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits. Wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest. O oh, Jesus, eternal, eternal priest, keep, keep all your, your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, Sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood, let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Happiness, you mother, are the way.